Hey, my name is Madeline Griffin and I'm from Monticello, Arkansas. I recently graduated from the University of Arkansas at Monticello with bachelor's degrees in biology and chemistry. And I'm currently a first year student at the UAMS College of Pharmacy. Hi, my name is Mary Catherine Froster. I'm from the small town of McGee, Arkansas. I also recently just graduated from the University of Arkansas at Monticello, where I obtained bachelor's degrees in both chemistry and biology. I am a first year pharmacy student at the UAMS College of Pharmacy. We are so excited to have the opportunity to speak with you today in regards to alcohol and tobacco safety. So teen alcohol use facts. Underage drinkers account for 11.4% of all of the alcohol consumed in the United States. In 2010, there were approximately 189,000 emergency room visits by teens under the age of 21 for injuries and other conditions that were related to alcohol. The three leading causes of death for people ages 15 to 24 are automobile crashes, homicides, and suicides, with alcohol being a leading factor in all three. These are some common alcohol myths that I'm sure that y'all have all heard. Drinking is not a real addiction like drug abuse. My drinking is my problem. I'm the only one that it hurts. I am not an alcoholic because I have a and I'm doing okay. I do not drink every day, so I cannot be an alcoholic. I can stop drinking anytime I want to. So what is an alcoholic drink? This is a drink that contains the recreational drug ethanol, which is a type of alcohol produced by fermentation of grains, fruits, or other sources of sugar. The standard drink in the United States contains roughly 14 grams of pure alcohol. So to put this in perspective, this can be found in 12 ounces of regular beer, which usually contains 5% alcohol, 5 ounces of wine, which typically contains 12% alcohol, and 1.5 and ounces of distilled spirits, which has 40% alcohol. One in five teens are considered problem drinkers. So this means that they will either get drunk, have accidents related to alcohol use, get in trouble with the law, family members, friends, or school because of their usage. Alcohol use disorder, also known as AUD, is characterized by difficulty controlling your drinking. So individuals with this disorder are preoccupied with alcohol. They will continue to drink even after it causes problems. They have to drink more to achieve the same effects. And they often experience withdrawal symptoms when they rapidly decrease or stop drinking. Alcoholism is the most severe type of AUD. Some common signs and symptoms of alcohol use disorder include loss of interest in school, friends, or family decreased involvement in extracurricular activities such as sports, clubs, erratic or violent behavior, or depression. Alcohol tolerance is when you have to drink more to achieve the same effect, whereas alcohol withdrawal induces nausea, vomiting, shakiness, fatigue, and anxiety. Alcoholism is characterized by the inability to control drinking due to both a physical and emotional dependence on alcohol. So contrary to what y'all might believe, alcoholism is an addiction. There are several risk factors that are associated with alcoholism. So steady or binge drinking over a long period of time, beginning to drink at a younger age, having a family history of alcoholism, having a close friend who drinks often, depression or other mental health factors. So all of these factors can increase your um, ability to develop alcoholism. Alcohol has several effects on your health, such as liver disease, 
digestive problems, heart problems, diabetes complications, decreased immune system, increased risk for cancer, and medication interactions such as with antibiotics or anxiety and depression medications. Alcohol impairs your vision, movement, and judgment. Um, do not put yourself in dangerous situations. Let people know where you are and who you are with and never get in the vehicle with someone that has been drinking. Alcohol poisoning is a disturbance in behavior or mental function during or after alcohol consumption. Drinking too much too quickly can affect your breathing, heart rate, body temperature, and potentially lead to a coma and death. Some symptoms of alcohol poisoning include confusion, vomiting, seizures, uh, slow and irregular breathing, pale skin, low body temperature, and passing out. If you suspect someone around you has alcohol poisoning, seek medical help immediately. Call 911 and share the information that you know. Do not leave an unconscious person by themselves and help them if you can. Um, do not be afraid to seek help. The consequences of getting in trouble are much less than the potential consequences for not seeking help. Switching gears to tobacco use. All tobacco products are unsafe. This includes cigarettes, vape pens, jewels, or any other tobacco product. All tobacco products contain nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive substance. Individuals who use e-cigarettes, such as Juuls, have an increased risk of use of cigarettes. <laughs> e-cigarettes contain the highest level of nicotine of any tobacco product, which is 59 milligrams per milliliter. Some health consequences of tobacco use include breathing problems, heart problems, and potentially cancer. Around every one in five deaths in the United States is a result of smoking, which is about 480,000 people per year. Some social consequences of tobacco use may include loss of friends, such as friends that don't like smoke, if you're smoking, they may not want to be around you. Um, bad smell, so cigarette smoke smells up your clothes, your car, your hair. Um, you may struggle to find a job. Um, you may have increased insurance programs and tobacco use can just overall be expensive. While electronic cigarettes, such as Juuls, have less harmful chemicals than regular cigarettes, long-term side effects are not yet well known. Current studies suggest there are risk of lung injury, seizures, heart attack, and stroke. Here are some resources that we got our information from, and the National Suicide Hotline number is listed here. Um, if you ever need someone to talk to, please reach out to them. Um, your teacher has a little quiz for you. Um, and thank you so much for allowing us to present to you today. We hope you learned a little bit about alcohol and tobacco safety. Thank y'all. Bye.